You know you love a piece of gear when you have a deck saver for it, right? Like that's the extra, that's the extra that you know you love a piece of gear. I didn't want to make this video because I was hoping they would have given us this by now, seeing that it's literally the only thing people have been asking for in forums for the past like 10 years on the SX. And now we have the MK2 and we still have not seen this update. So this video is for Roland. I love my SP, I love my SP. I do, I do, but I only use it in one way. And that is as an effects processor, meaning I only touch these six buttons, maybe bring my audio in and out every once in a while and mess with the effects, holding the MFX and switching the paths. That's what, that's what you see me doing when I perform on my SP. I want to do more on it. And you know, they gave us the sequencer, they gave us the pattern mode, um, whatever. This had a pattern mode too. It's been, it's been around and it hasn't been great. <laughs> this one, I don't know. I haven't used the pattern mode. I'm not really into it. Some people are into it. That's not how I roll. Regardless, a lot of people have been using the resampling method for a really long time. And that's the workflow that a lot of people feel comfortable with, including myself. And the only thing that is lacking on the SP is to be able to hold a pad set how long you want the pad to be like let's say four bars like look y'all got this beautiful knob y'all can just <laughs> y'all can just figure out a way to do it four bars eight bars 16 bars <gasps> then i can do arm record then i can put my sp down pick up my guitar record for four bars and have a perfect loop oh my gosh think about like the game changing workflow that that would bring to the sp why haven't you guys done that? That's literally the only thing we want. Okay, so now we have the ability to play this like Ableton and you can load in perfect loops. Why can't I make perfect loops? Why do I have to go into Ableton and make the loops there and then import them? What's the point? Guys, I love my SP. I consider this like just as important to me as my piano or my guitar. Like this is very important to me in live performance. But it is that one thing, like I wanna be able to use my SP further because the resampling method is great, but it would be so much better to just have that simple, easy, hands-free recording that a lot of people want. So like the 555 had a sequencer that had a play and star button and stuff and stuff like that. So like, why? Why haven't they done this? The only reason that I can think of why they haven't done this is because I guess that would kind of make the 505 kind of obsolete-ish if you could like loop into every single one of these pads. Um, maybe not give us, you know, all the banks. Just let us do it on one page. Just go into the forums for the past 10 years. People are not asking for DJ mode. People are not asking for all this extra stuff that you keep giving us. We just want to record onto a pad. We just want to set a pad to a certain amount of bars, record into it, and build the beat that way. Think about it. I could do my guitar right here. Then I can hold it right here. Oh, I could play some bass. Then boom. Oh, I could add some piano. I could add some drums. And then I could launch them like they want me to instead of having to load them in already like chopped. Like what is the point? <sighs> One of my favorite features of the MPC line, like the MPC Live and the MPC X was the looper. And even though it wasn't like super advanced, it gave us something that no other groove box has given us. Like. Not that I've tried. And that's being able to set the amount of bars when you want to loop. Because it makes perfect sense in a hands-free environment if that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to play guitar. I don't have time to press record and press stop record. That's what I have to do with this. Then I have to go in and manually trim this. Why? Come on. Come on, people. 2023. Dreams. Get it, get it together. 